I'm Nathan Lorenchuk, a urologist at Epworth. I'm also the director of the EJ Witten Foundation Prostate Cancer Research Centre at Epworth. I'm going to go through a few myths and facts about prostate cancer that every man should know. Firstly, one in six men will be diagnosed with prostate cancer, and that's more than enough men to fill this whole park on any football day. Secondly, one in three men will be diagnosed with prostate cancer if you have a first degree relative like your brother or father, meaning that you should be tested not just at 50 years of age, but 10 years before either one of those was diagnosed with prostate cancer. Also, many men are apprehensive about being checked for prostate cancer, fearing invasive tests and even unnecessary treatments. That's not the case. These days we have access to PSA testing, which may be done in conjunction with a rectal exam, but not always. And we also have access to magnetic resonance imaging or MRI, which screens out many men who indeed do not need to go on and have a biopsy done. So men not fear being, having the test done for prostate cancer, but what they should fear is not being diagnosed in the first instance. Many men fear getting tested for prostate cancer because they worry about the consequences of radical treatment, such as incontinence or erectile dysfunction. In fact, the vast majority of men who are diagnosed with prostate cancer early are put onto active surveillance. And just like a good umpire in a football game, we will only intervene as urologists when an incident occurs and it's required. Symptoms for prostate cancer only appear late, and that's why it can sneak up on men, meaning that we must get checked even if we don't feel there's anything wrong with us. And that's one important message we should all understand. Get checked with your GP regularly, often, and earlier if you have a family history. Uh, many men ask me if they can do anything to prevent prostate cancer. Well, yes, you can. There's a lot of good research out there. It begins with a diet that is high in fiber, fruits, and whole grains, the Mediterranean diet, avoiding processed foods. Secondly, it's getting out there and getting active with exercise. That's gonna help. Finally, actually sex, plenty of it, the more the better. So men, you can be active about preventing prostate cancer. So please have a conversation with your GP about being tested for prostate cancer because I'd rather be cheering with you on the sidelines than being your coach through your prostate cancer treatment.